better stay in bed, Frank. Wish I could stay in bed too. <coughs> hey, old friend, you're really not well. You need someone to look after you. Wonder if Mum will let me stay at home. Henry! Hmm, that's a no. Don't you worry, Fang. I'll find a way. Can't leave him alone all day, can we? just don't see why we need a new one. Well, you see... Henry! Well, you see nothing. We don't need a new one, and that's that. But... No buts! <sighs> Do you have any idea where my mobile phone is? Oh, uh, where did you have it last? Oh, for goodness sake. If I knew where I had it last, then I'd know where it is, wouldn't I? Shh. What's going on? They're having one of their arguments. Oh, that's not an argument. That's a discussion. Whatever it is, we're not getting a new one. Well, that's probably because we don't need a new one. Don't need a new what? Whatever it is they're discussing. Oh, welcome to my life. <gasps> oh, forgot my goodest gold book! Henry! Yes, Mum? Oh, there you are. Looking for your mobile phone, Mum? Oh, yes. Thank you, Henry. Now, what have I done with the car keys? Oh, honestly, I'd forget my head if it wasn't on top of my shoulders. See you later. Don't forget me, Mum! Dad, can I stay home today? I'm not feeling... Yes, of course, Henry. No problem. Yes! Don't you have to go to work today, Dad? Uh, no, not today. I've, uh, got a late meeting. Oh, OK, cool. Time for a snack, I reckon. Uh, Fancy a snack, Fang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, thank you. I'll get the old one. <gasps> the old what, Dad? What are you doing here, Henry? You said I could stay home, remember? Did I? Yes, cos... <laughs> I'm not feeling very... Go back up to your room, then. But I need a... If you're not well, Henry, you need to be in bed. But I'm hungry. Are you going to answer that? <sighs> Just don't tell your mother. I won't. Oh, uh, can I help? <coughs> I'm sorry, I can't hear what you're saying. <coughs> is that what I think it is? Nope, sorry. Still can't hear you. I, uh, in here, please. It is what I think it is. We're getting a new TV. Can't believe Dad did that. This is turning out to be the best day ever. Need any help, Dad? No, thank you. The delivery man said it was really easy to set up. Yeah, they always say that. Thank you, Henry. Well, call me if you need me. I will. He won't. He always thinks he can do it himself. Until he can't. <laughs> mm. These gobble are good, aren't they, Fang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No TV noises yet. Come on, let's go and see what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thank you, Henry. I can do it. Need any help now, Dad? <sighs> How difficult can it be? Pretty difficult if you're trying to do it in Chinese. Oh. This one's Japanese, and this is French, Spanish and Polish. 
but I don't speak any of those languages. What am I going to do? Leave it to me, Dad. Is there anything I can do? You can get the TV out of the box. Reckon I can do that. Oh, uh, thank you. Good. Wow, that is one big TV. It's huge. Oops, sorry, Dad. It's a Titanic TV! Do you think your mother will notice? Well... I'm going to be in such trouble if she notices. No, I'm sure she won't notice. She's going to notice. Yep, she's going to notice. But it has got a hundred channels of Gross Class Zero. I know, that's why I got it. Cool! Maybe I should return it. No, I mean, why would you want to return it? Because your mother wouldn't like it? OK, but first, let's get it set up, and then we can decide what to do with it. All right. Found what you need, Fang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Even a hamster can do it. Why don't you go and make yourself a nice cup of tea? I'm such a failure. No, well, you're not. You're good at making cups of tea. Yes. Yes, I am. Are you sure you're OK doing that, Henry? All those cables. Maybe I should... We're fine. Off you go. Parents, eh? Who'd have them? I'll just take the box out to the recycling. Just don't tell, tell your, your mother. mother. <laughs> <laughs> all set? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now all we need is the remote. Great job, Fang. All set, Henry? Yes, except... The remote's not working. Oh, I knew it was a mistake to buy a new TV. Probably just needs batteries. Batteries? Batteries? Why don't they tell you you're going to need batteries? I've no idea where we're going to get batteries from. Oh, we're never going to get to watch Gross Class Zero now. What's the point of 100 channels of Gross if you can't even turn on the TV? Calm down, Dad. I've got some batteries. What? You've got batteries? How come you've got batteries and I haven't? You get the tea, I'll get the batteries. <laughs> oh, there you are, Henry. Miss Badlux missed you at school today and she said you're in big trouble and Mum and Dad are too because you didn't have a note and... What's that? None of your business, worm. Peter. What are you doing here? Uh, I live here? Yes, yes, of course you do. I meant, what are you doing home so early? We had a note, don't you remember? Miss Lovely had to go to the dentist. Oh, yes, I do remember something about that. Oh, you are a silly billy sometimes, Dad. Yes, he is a real silly billy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. Come on, let's get you some tea. But I'm not... <gasps> Is that box for me? Uh, yes. Yes, it's specially for you. Oh, it could be so many things. Maybe we could make some windows, make it into a little house. You don't want to make a time machine, then? Oh, no. No, boxers don't make good time machines. Then a little house it shall be. I'll just get my felt tips. We're, We're all gross, gross and so, so are you! you. <laughs> Peter? Hello, Mum. Peter, what are you doing? Oh, I'm 
making a little house with flowers around the doorway. And this is where we're going to put the windows. And here's the door and the cat flap and... Oh! Today, Mum made me wear one of Great Aunt Greta's jumpers. I wonder what he thinks of my new jumper. Oops. all over the place. I think there is, Henry. You know what I mean for dogs. <gasps> oh, there you are. There who is? The Wormicus Basilicus del Mondo. Only the rarest worm in the whole wide world. Really? I can't see anything. You have to look really carefully. I am looking really carefully. And you have to know what you're looking for. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Mum! You'll never guess what I found! Anyway, what I'm saying is no one should have to wear a jumper like this. Should they? Why are you looking at me like that? The worm? What about the worm? <gasps> oh no! The worm! Maybe he won't notice. I can't believe you didn't realise you were sitting on him, Henry! But how do you know it was a him? What are you talking about? Could have been a her. Don't be horrid, Henry. I'll never see a Wormicus Basilicus del Mondo ever again! Now look what you've done, Henry. It was a mistake. Well, a mistake isn't good enough. You weren't paying attention, were you, Henry? It's all Great Aunt Greta's fault. How is it Great Aunt Greta's fault? <laughs> Great Aunt Greta said she'd give me extra pocket money if I found a Wormicus Basilicus del Mondo. And she made me this jumper. What's that got to do with it? <laughs> all right, all right, Peter. Look, I'll give you the money anyway. <gasps> What's wrong now? I can! Step away from the money, Henry. OK, I wasn't being serious. This is very serious, Henry. Very, very serious, Henry. Seems like a lot of fuss about a worm that no one could see in the first place. What's for tea? What's for tea? You sit on a Wormicus Basilicus del Mondo and then you ask what's for tea? Well, yeah. Are you sure you don't want the money, Peter? Buy yourself something nice with it. I suppose I could put it in my piggy bank. Save it for a rainy day. Yeah, cos worms come out on rainy days, don't they? Don't be horrid, Henry. But it's true. I saw it on How Green Does Your Garden Grow. Really? Actually, yes. It was on How Green Does Your Garden Grow, but... Oh, Wilhelmina. Who's Wilhelmina? Wilhelmina Worm. That's what I called her. So it was a she and not a he. Oh, that's so sweet you gave her a name. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. There wasn't time for you to give her a name. <laughs> yes, there was. I found her and I named her and then I went to tell Mum. I give up. Peter, do you want to come out with me and mark her passing? We could sing a little song and say a few words. Maybe we could put up a little sign too? Yes, yes, we can do that. You too, Henry. <gasps> huh? Why me? Well, I would have thought that was obvious. Not to me. Don't be horrid, Henry. All right, all right, keep your hair on. I'm coming. And put your jumper back on. And so, farewell, Wormicus Basilicus del Mondo, the Empress of Worms. 
You gave me the world, and I, who could give you nothing, am enriched by your presence. <gasps> oh. Hold on. How could you? Oh, can I help? It's too late. Too late for what? Oh, Margaret, that's very kind of you to offer. But you see, Peter found a Wormicus Basilicus del Mondo. Isn't that wonderful? Hmm. And then Henry sat on it. <laughs> I mean, how could you, Henry? Not my fault. Of course it was your fault. Whose else fault was it? Of course it was your fault, Henry. That goes without saying. I wonder if the Wormicus whatever that Henry sat on was related to the one I saw walking along my wall earlier. Oh, you saw one too? Well, I can't be certain, but it did look like one. And let's face it, how many Wormicus whatevers are there strolling along our garden walls? Did you hear that, Mum? Margaret thinks she may have seen another Wormicus Basilicus del Mondo. I did hear that, sweetie bun. Can I go over to Margaret's garden and look for it? Of course you can, sweetie peach pie. And I'll go and get tea ready. At last. Don't be horrid, Henry. What's with the jumper, bogey brain? What jumper? The one you're wearing. I can't believe you've forgotten you're wearing it. You made such a fuss about it earlier. Were you spying on me? No, just minding my own business. Setting up my sail table. Your what? My sail table. I decided it was time to declutter. Get rid of all the junk in my life. Free myself up to really... <sighs> be myself. That sounds scary. Typical, Henry. Trust you to be negative about somebody else's aura. I'm not being negative about your aura. I'm just saying that sounds scary. Well, suit yourself. I've got work to do. Hang on. Is that my yellow YOLO? Might be. Oh, those are my slime pots. Could be. Yes? Can I help you? That's my six slime slinger. That's my bogey Barbara. And that's my horrid hat. Well, one of them. Are you making a purchase, sir? What do you mean, am I making a purchase? No, I'm not buying anything. All those things are mine. Were yours. Now they're mine, so I'll ask you again. Sir, do you see anything you would like to buy? Yes, yes, I would like to buy all of it, cos it's all mine. So, you would like to buy all of it. That'll be... three million pounds and fifty-four pence. What? I haven't got that sort of money. Of course you haven't, so you'll have to haggle with me. No way. What about him? What do you mean? Ask him. Ask Peter? I can't do that. Why not? I bet he's got a few million in his piggy bank. Oi, Peter, over here. This is not a good idea. Why not? He pays me, you get your stuff. End of story. Only it won't be. Won't be what? The end of the story. He'll want something in return. Well, of course he will. We all want something in return. But that's not my problem. What is it? Fancy buying all this? Not really. You'd be doing your big brother a big favour. Then really not really. Thanks. Does it really mean that much to you, Henry? Well, yes. It's all my stuff. Oh, yes. I suppose it is. I'll give you five pounds for it. Pah, no chance. Deal. You what? You're going to sell it to him for five pounds after all that? Like I told you, Henry, you've got to haggle. You can pay me later. Thank you. Nice doing business with you. Thanks, by the way. I'll pay you back later. 
Oh, you can pay me back now, Henry. What's this for? You know how to use a magnifying glass, don't you? Well, yes, but... There's a Wormicus Basilicus Dalmondo out there, and it's your job to find it. <laughs> 